Hey guys, it's me, Miss Callahan. Um, I am in this book that we are reading this week called Animal Discoveries. And I am going to be going over the central idea of a section of this text. And the one that I chose was Hiding in Plain View. Okay, so with respect to the title of this section, Hiding in Plain View, I'm going to kind of go through and figure out like what is the main idea and how does the author best support that main idea, okay? So using what I've just read, which was the second section title, it says Hiding in Plain View. And then reading through and learning about um, this species, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just read it for us, okay? For more than a hundred years, scientists thought, scientists thought the Olingito was another species. In 2013, they discovered that they had been wrong. The Olingito leaps through trees at night. The smallest member of the raccoon family, it can be found in South America. So here, the author is showing us that this species had been mistaken for another species. Right here in the text feature the caption, it says, Olangitos have smaller, rounder bases and shorter tails than Olingos, which they were mistaken for. Okay, so the author's main idea is that there have been so many undiscovered species that were hiding in plain view, just like the section title says. Really quick, let's just look up what these look like. Olingos. Okay. And this is what these guys, the Olangitos, had been mistaken for for so long. So I was curious about that, so I did a little Googling to figure that out. So now what I want you to do next is go over here and read about this Cambodian tailor bird. And tell me, you know, we're still in this same section, hiding in plain view. Tell me about how the author um, supports that main idea that, you know, some species had been unidentified and were hiding in plain view through uh, what they write about the Cambodian tailor bird. Okay, so go ahead and read this part of the section and then respond to uh, the discussion below using the reply button and be sure to use the sentence stem if you are in need of some help with your writing and get started. Thank you.